Now for this part of the question, we're told that when the particle hits the ground, the time t is big T. And we've got to find out what this big T value is. Now we know the position vector r of the particle at any time t on this curve is given by the equation we found out in part a. So when the particle is here, when it hits the ground, the j component, which represents the height above the ground at time t, well that's clearly got to be zero. So all we need to do is substitute t equals big T into here and make this component equal zero. So before I start, what I want to do is just say that when t equals big T, we know that this must equal zero. So 10 plus five, and I'm going to substitute the big T in here minus 4.9 multiplied by the big T squared equals zero. Now with something like this, I'm not going to really hang around and see if it factorizes. So quadratic equation, it's got a negative here. I'd want to multiply throughout by minus one. So I'm going to have 4.9 T squared then minus five T minus 10 equals zero. And I'm going to use the quadratic formula. should be familiar with this. t equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a is 4.9, b is the minus 5, and c is the minus 10. And if we do substitute that into our values into the formula, we get for minus b it's going to be 5 plus or minus the square root then of b squared minus 4ac. So b is minus 5, so we've got minus 5 all squared. Make sure you've got that in brackets. Minus 4 times a, which is 4.9, multiplied by c, which is minus 10, and that's all divided by 2a. Two lots then of 4.9. Now if you pass this through your calculator, you'll get two values for t. One of them turns out to be 2.027 and so on. Or the other value for t turns out to be a negative value, minus 1.006 and so on. Well obviously the value of t here has to be positive. So I'm just going to say that since t must be greater than zero, we therefore have that t equals 2.0 seconds, and we'll give that to one decimal place. Okay, one dp. So I hope that gives you an idea then how to do that part of the question.